It's actually more effective than doing it in a big city like this. The media pays attention more, I think. Um, people are more willing to stop and talk and hear you, share their story. Well, one thing is funny between me and Rocco. It's like Rocco's more on Texas level. Because Rocco's like a real sarcastic and a real person. Do you know that? Eh? Oh, okay. <laughs> there is. He's a homesick. I think that's another word, right? And he's abusive and all that other stuff, right? But one thing, because birds of a feather flock together, but you know what I mean by that statement? People are on the same level to hang around together all the time. Okay? It's funny, after 15 years, I wasn't invited to Mount Pike, but Russell's been there twice to her place, and he's there right now. Oh, oh yeah? He was, yeah. Because he's homeless. That's unbelievable. That's but he, he had a bunch of furniture, like furniture and belongings and TVs and everything. Grandma and I kept, we had the stuff in our apartment for the past six months. And then Francine invited him to go with her to Sudbury and stay at her place. And I've never been invited for 15 years. But I asked myself, how come he's okay to go there but not me? It's because you're on the small and the same level as Francine. Do you think it has to do with your trans too? I don't really know. I mean, when you're trans, you think all kinds of weird stuff. As long as that Francine is somewhat envious of me too. Uh, people have told me that. Francine, my mom, or another Francine? No, no, your, your mom. There's a lot of Francines I'm hearing about. No, I don't know who's who anymore. No, no. My mom have, has a friend named Francine. Uncle, remember that Joe Birch's Uncle Ted? Remember him? I hate that Joe Birch. Remember that guy that used to hang around there, they called him Uncle Ted? I think so, no. No, Maybe. you don't remember him? No? You gotta remember my brain. My brain's fried from all the time. Okay.